Hey there, boys and girls. It's Miss James, and welcome to a thriving third grade ELA lesson on text features. Our standard today is RI5, which states, use text features and search tools. For example, keywords, sidebars, and hyperlinks to locate information relevant to a given topic quickly and efficiently. We also have RI7, which states, use information gained from illustrations, such as maps and photographs, and the words in a text to demonstrate understanding of the text. For example, where, when, why, and how key events occur. Our I can statement today states, I can use text features and pictures to quickly locate relevant useful information on a given topic. Here's your reminder, boys and girls. We have a ticket out the door at the end of our lesson. At the end of this lesson, remember that you will need to complete an exit ticket. The exit ticket will have a link attached in the description area at the end of the video. Don't forget, Boys and girls, now it's time for us to stretch our minds and brainstorm a little bit. Doesn't this look like a very interesting article? I thought so too. It's called Hanging Tough. And what I want you to do right now is look over this article and see if you can locate any and all text features that you remember learning about in the classroom. So in a minute, what you're going to do is put the video on pause. You're going to grab a piece of paper and a pencil and come back while it's on pause and write down all the text features you remember learning about. And I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so go ahead and put it on pause and I'll meet you right back here in a couple of minutes. All right, see you right back. Welcome back, boys and girls. Did you put the video on pause and write down all the text features that you brainstormed that you saw in this article called Hanging Tough? I did too. Let's see if you found some of, this, some of the uh, text features that I found. Did you write down photographs? How about the title? What about bullets? Did you find bold words or headings or subheadings, or the sidebars. Great job, boys and girls. I found those too. Let's keep going. Boys and girls, in your packet, you will see page 160. We're on week two, lesson one in your packet, and at the top of the page, it reads lesson 10, text features. Let's read our learning target together for this lesson. By using special text features and search tools, you can find important information quickly and easily. Boys and girls, will you read with me as I read aloud? Here we go. When you go into a store, you use signs and labels to help you find what you need. Text features are similar to those signs and labels. They are special parts of a text that help you locate the facts and details you're looking for. Text features include headings, keywords that are shown in bold print, and boxed information called sidebars. Digital texts that you read online have search tools such as hyperlinks. These text features let you access more information by clicking on the link. Boys and girls, we're going to read this science article together on the lungfish. How do the text features help us? And you know that's what text features do. They provide us more information and help us with our understanding. Boys and girls, first let's look at the title. It reads, Long Live the Lungfish. And let's also look at the picture. This must be the picture of the lungfish. Isn't that an interesting looking fish? 
Well, I know by reading the title and looking at the picture that this is going to be an informational text that's going to provide me some information about the lungfish. So I know that this is a nonfiction genre. Let's continue reading more about this article. Read along as I read aloud. If you had to be a fish, you might want to be a lungfish. Why? Because the lungfish can do some amazing things that most other fish cannot. Ooh, now that's interesting. I wonder what lungfish can do. Hmm, I see a heading. Let's read the heading together. A fish out of water. A fish out of water? I've never heard of a fish being able to survive out of water. Let's read about it. The lungfish can breathe air. If its lake or river dries up, the lungfish drags itself over land until it finds water in which to live. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, have you ever heard of such lungfish dry, dragging themselves out of water onto land? Amazing. I have another heading. This heading reads, a fish underground. Good grief, fish can be underground too? Let's read more about it. If the lungfish can't find water to live in, it digs a hole in the ground and sleeps there until the water returns. This type of sleep is called estivation. Oh, wow, this is a bold word. So that tells me that that's a text feature. Estivation is one of those important words that it wants us to know. And it was saying that it's the type of sleep that the lungfish does. Fascinating. Look at all of the text features we've already talked about. We've read a title, that's a text feature. We've looked at a photograph, that's a text feature. We've read a heading, that's a text feature. And another heading, which is a text feature. And a bold word, which we also know is a text feature. Well, boys and girls, look at this box. This box says fun facts. Oh, that sounds fun. Fun facts about the lungfish. Did you know that this box off to the side with more information in it is called a sidebar? Yes, a sidebar. Let's read the fun facts and find even more information about the lungfish. These little dots right here are called bullets. Sometimes you might see them even in the form of a check. Let's read the first, first bullet. It reads, lungfish live in South America, Australia, and Africa. Hmm, now I know where I can locate lungfish. The next bullet reads, lungfish can live for more than 80 years. Wow, that's a lot longer than even a lot of people live. That's a long time. Here's another fun fact. Lungfish have been around since before the dinosaurs. Did you see how they put this word before in italics? That's when the word is written a little slanted and it wants it to pop out and stand out for you so you can know that that's important information too, that these lung, lungfish lived way before dinosaurs. Boy, they lived a long time ago. Boys and girls, on your next page, you're going to see a graphic organizer. We're used to working with these graphic organizers, so this should look very familiar. At the top of the page at this arrow, it says, think. Read along as I read it aloud. It says, look again at the article on lungfish. Then look at the features listed in the box below. Write each feature where it belongs in the first column. Well, let's look at these features. These feature keywords are, read them with me, sidebar, title, keyword, and heading. Boys and girls, in our graphic organizer, we have a box split into two sections. It reads feature for this section right here, where we're going to write our words. And then it has in this section, which reads what it does. So they want us to look at these features and list them in this column where they match up 
with what it does. So let's look over each one of these descriptions. This first one reads, tells what the whole passage is about. Which one of these features tells what the whole passage is about? Can you write that on your piece of paper in a box under feature, in your box under feature? Which one of these features do you think you would write in this box? Go ahead and do that now. This next one reads, shows what part of the passage is about. Shows what part of the passage is about. Which one of these features shows what part of the passage is about? Go ahead and write that word in this box here. Good job. If you need more time, boys and girls, remember, you can always put your video on pause to make sure that you have time to write in your answers. Okay, let's look at the next line. It reads, calls attention to an important word that you should pay attention to. Hmm, which one of these features calls attention to an important word that you should pay attention to? Write that feature in this box now. If you need more time, put the video on pause. Good job, boys and girls. Let's read the last one. Gives more information related to the main article. Which one of these features gives more information related to the main article? Write that answer in this box now. Good job completing your graphic organizer, boys and girls. Let's go over these features and see if we came up with the features that belong in the boxes. Here we go. The first one tells what the whole passage is about. Did you write title? Yes, the title, Long Live the Lungfish. That will tell what the whole passage is about. Let's go to the next one shows what part of the passage is about. The heading. These are headings. A fish out of water tells us that we're going to read about the fish out of water. This heading tells us that we're going to read about a fish underground. Let's go to the next one. Calls attention to an important word that you should pay attention to. Did you put keyword? Yes, keywords are like estivation often bolded so you can pay attention to it, just like this italicized word before. This last one says, gives more information related to the main article. Did you write sidebar? That's right, that's what this fun facts box was. It was a sidebar that gave us more information about the lungfish. Well, boys and girls, who can tell me what they've learned about text features? I want you to share what you've learned with your mom or your dad or a sister or a brother, what you learned about text features today. When we read science articles, knowing how to use text features such as sidebar, keywords, heading, and title will help you locate and understand important information the author wants you to know. Next time, we'll read another science article and explore the author use the the author uses how the author uses text features to share information about the topic. Do you have any questions, boys and girls? Jot them down. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to bring them up in our live sessions when we go online on Mondays and Wednesdays, so we can answer your questions or you can send them to us in an email also. We are here to support you. Great job, boys and girls, on our lesson on text features. And I can't wait to meet you back again so we can explore text features a little more. Have a great day, boys and girls.